ask that you be with them, Lord. More than anything, we ask you to guide our state and national leaders in taking action and enact, enact sensible and just gun laws. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty. Vice Mayor, um, this afternoon's vote is unprecedented, but so was the action taken to expel members of the legislature. Voters in District 52 elected Justin Jones to be their voice at the State House, and that voice was taken away this past week. So let's give them their voice back, and I call on this body to vote unanimously right now to do just that. Thank you. One other quick report, uh, Wally Dietz, uh, Metro Legal Director, you're recognized. Thank you, Mr. Vice Mayor. Just very briefly, because you have something very important and historic to do, but I did want to update the council on the fact that we did win an injunction this afternoon. <laughs> of the special rules that we argued were causing chaos in the election this year. The court ruled that those rules in that part of the statute violated the Home Rule Amendment, the local legislation clause, and the court enjoined the implementation of that part of the statute by a unanimous three to nothing. So the, the, other, the other issues are reserved. Um, there's a lot to talk about, about what that means for 2027, but for right now, we have an injunction. The state may or may not decide to appeal, and if they appeal, the Tennessee Supreme Court may or may not decide to accept the appeal. It's discretionary. So uh, the state has to appeal. The Supreme Court has to say yes. We're hopeful the Supreme Court would not take the appeal in the face of this three to nothing opinion and the timetable that we're currently under. But that's up to them. So for today, we have a victory. We are back to an election with 40 members in this county. I must recognize the amazing lawyers on my team who are here. There's one other. Allison Bustle, stand up, please. Pursuant to Section 3.04 of the Metropolitan Charter of Rule 49 of the Council Rules of Procedure, this special meeting of the Metro Council is being held for the following purposes. To announce the vacancy of the Tennessee House of Representatives District 52 seat, 
to discuss Council Rule 49 procedures and to elect, if determined by this body, the election of an interim successor. I am hereby <coughs> announcing the vacancy of the Tennessee House of Representatives District 52 C. Councilmember Murphy, as chair of the Rules Committee, you are recognized. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I would like to move to suspend Rule 49, Parts 1 through 6, and to immediately take nominations from the floor and vote today to fill the vacancy. All right. Are there any objections to suspending the rules? Seeing none, rules are suspended. <laughs> Councilmember Porterfield, you're recognized. Thank you, Vice Mayor. I would like to nominate Representative Justin Johnson. Oh! Uh, Justin Jones to uh, become the uh, interim successor, properly seconded by Councilmember Sepulveda. Um, are there any further nominations? Seeing none. Without objection, nominations are closed. Uh, I bet go back to Councilmember Porterfield. You are recognized. And you will have five minutes in which to speak. Thank you, Vice Mayor. Colleagues, I stand as a proud resident of House District 52. On August the 4th, Representative Justin Jones earned the most votes in our Democratic primary, allowing him to advance and win the general election on November the 8th. The people made a choice, and it was the right choice. On Thursday, April the 6th, we witnessed a miscarriage of justice and an egregious assault on our democracy, which resulted in over 70,000 Davidson County voters, our voters, being silenced when our representative was expelled. This is not the first attempt of the state attempting to silence the people. Not even an hour ago, we learned that we were victorious in being granted an injunction against the state's unconstitutional effort of downsizing our council against the will of the people. And just as the people of Nashville were victorious today, we will be victorious again. With this vote to, re to reinstate Representative Jones, we are restoring the political voice of the 70,000 people of District 52. Our community members are more than capable of selecting their representative and their will should have never been undermined. <laughs> representative Jones was honest about who he was, a bold and unapologetic advocate for the community. The people chose their representative. And with this vote, we will send a strong message to our state government and across the country that we will not tolerate threats to our democracy. And colleagues, with that, I ask you to please vote to approve Representative Jones. Thank you. Thank you, Council Member Porterfield. Um, I will now call for the election. Uh, we have only one nomination before us, and that is the nomination of Justin Jones to be elected to be the interim successor for the vacancy of District 52 of the Tennessee House of Representatives. Pursuant to Rule 48, we are on the board for the vote. Mr. Clark, tell me when we are ready. Ready? We are ready. All right, so uh, we are going to be on the board. If you are for the election of Justin Jones to be the interim successor for the vacant seat of Tennessee House District 52, you will vote aye. If not, you will vote no. Mr. Clark, open up the machine.
So everyone needs to stay at their desk. I will need a motion to adjourn so we can go into the Got a motion to adjourn. Any discussion? All those in favor say aye. Aye. All right, we are